Good evening, everybody. It's Thursday, March 19th, and it is a beautiful 80-degree and sunny day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina, and it's a little bit windy today, so there may be some wind noise, and I apologize, but this video cannot wait because today we are going to talk about performing our first fertilizing of our fig trees as they break dormancy for the spring. And this is a critical fertilizing that you need to do to your fig trees once they start to break dormancy. As you can see, I have a number of fig trees all over my garden and they are starting to show green buds all over the place. This is normal. It's the middle of March here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina in zone 8 and there's a good chance that I'm ahead of a lot of you guys in colder zones that have fig trees and containers. So it's very important that I get this video out now to help you because you're probably a few weeks behind me. Before I get too far in this video, I want to explain to you that the instructions I'm going to give you are specifically for container trees. If you have trees that are in ground, you can treat them a little bit differently. With fig trees that grow in ground, you may want to look into fertilizing your fig trees with a very balanced organic fertilizer and go organic with your approach for in-ground trees. And you can do that because the root system with in-ground trees is very extensive and can search all over the earth for nutrients. That's not the case with container trees. When you grow fig trees or anything in containers for that matter, the roots can only search within those containers for nutrients. Organic fertilizers require the microbiome, the, the bacteria and the fungi and the worms in the soil to break down those organic chemicals and turn them into nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace micronutrients that your trees can actually absorb. And that kind of microbiome just doesn't exist in containers. Therefore, when we talk about container-grown fruit trees, I recommend soluble chemical fertilizers because they have been broken down to be in the form of NPK and all the trace micronutrients that your plants can immediately uptake. Remember, we're talking about maximum efficiency here, and when it comes down to growing fruit trees in containers, that is not a natural environment. So trying to fertilize them purely organically will probably lead to subpar results. A chemical fertilizer will yield better growth and fruit production. Many of you with fig trees in containers probably store them in garages in colder climates. These fig trees are all in the exact same spot that they were six months ago in the fall when I was harvesting and picking my figs. Previously in the fall, I showed you how you should slowly ramp down your fertilizing schedule in order to help your fig trees move into dormancy, and I will link to that video above. I stopped fertilizing these fig trees probably in about October, maybe in November at this point. So these fig trees are completely depleted in their containers. So for many of you who are growing fig trees in containers, your containers are probably pretty depleted and void of nutrients. So as your trees are trying to break dormancy, they're looking around in those little shallow containers for nutrients that they, that they can use to jumpstart them into the spring, and they just can't find any. So this is a very critical fertilizing because it is going to give your trees the initial jump start throughout the year and it's very important to get your trees off on the right foot now there are two critical points that I want to discuss when it comes to your first fertilizing of your figs for the year the first thing is timing Today is March 19th, which is right about when our 50% frost date is. So on any given year, this is roughly about the time where in my specific location, we won't see any frosts for half of the years moving forward. And looking at the two week forecast, we are well in the clear. So it looks like we're going to make it into April with no frost. So it looks like I am clear to fertilize my trees. You want to make sure that you do not fertilize your trees until you are absolutely sure that you will not have any frosts or freezes for the remainder of the year. And the reason why is because the first flushes of green growth from your trees are very sensitive to frost and freeze. When you fertilize your trees, the nitrogen inside the fertilizer is going to cause a quick flush of green growth. If a frost comes in, it is going to kill off that green growth, kill your new fresh buds, and set you back big time for the year. So please make sure it is the appropriate time on your calendar to fertilize your trees. So if you think there's any chance for a frost or freeze in the future, do not fertilize your trees. The second thing that we need to discuss is how you're going to fertilize your trees. You need to understand that for the first one or two fertilizations of the year, they are going to be different than how you are going to fertilize moving forward. 
Last year, I posted a video on how to fertilize your fig trees, and in that video, which I will link to above, I recommend that you use a balanced fertilizer with roughly the same numbers for N, P, and K. And the reason why that is important is because a lot of the cheaper fertilizers out there are very high in the first number, which is nitrogen. It's very cheap and easy to make a high nitrogen fertilizer, but nitrogen encourages the growth of green buds and leaves and stem growth. If you give your fig trees a fertilizer that is high in nitrogen, they will not want to produce a lot of fruit. So as you move forward into the season and you want to encourage fruiting on your trees, it's important that you do not fertilize them with a high nitrogen fertilizer product. At the very least, you want it to be balanced, or you can have a high middle number, which is phosphorus, because it is the phosphorus that encourages fruit development in figs. However, this is a very specific situation because the very first one or two fertilizations of the year, you actually want to give your trees a high nitrogen fertilizer because what you are trying to do is you are trying to encourage green growth. In front of me, I have two types of soluble fertilizer. One is Expert Gardener All-Purpose Water-Soluble Plant Food, which is just the Walmart knockoff of miracle Grow All-Purpose. It is the same NPK ratio of 24816, which you can clearly see there. That means it is 24% nitrogen, 8% phosphorus, and 16% potassium. And for those of you who don't know what the numbers mean, that 24% nitrogen, nitrogen encourages leafy green growth and the growth of new stems and wood. The middle number, the 8% phosphorus, encourages root growth and fruit growth. And the final number, 16% potassium, that encourages cellular division and the overall health of the plant. So a 24816 formula is specifically geared for green leafy growth. It's to grow bush-like growth. And that is what you want on your very first one or two fertilizings of the year on your dormant fig trees. Then right next to it, we have Alaska Fish Fertilizer. This is basically pureed fermented fish product. It's 5% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 1% potassium. It's fairly high in nitrogen but it is extremely high in trace micronutrients. So between these two, I like to think of this as the perfect cocktail to get your fig trees revved up and ready to go and putting out lots of new leafy growth for the new season when you mix these together. And as always, before you fertilize any of your plants, you want to read the instructions first. You will see for outdoor plants, it tells you to mix one tablespoon per gallon of water and apply generously over the leaves and stems, soaking the soil as far as branches extend. So that is the concentration that is recommended. If you make it too strong, you can burn sensitive plants. So remember that. If you are starting new transplants, let's say you rooted some fig cuttings over the winter and you're going to up pot them, you should probably cut that concentration in half. You should only use one half tablespoon per gallon of water and make the solution weaker because you can burn very sensitive young roots. If your fig trees are mature and they've been growing for a season or longer, you can give them the full concentration. So we are going to use the one tablespoon per gallon of water concentration for my fig trees because they are established trees. The fish fertilizer is a little bit of a different story. It is completely organic, and as you can read, it specifically says it won't burn. I don't use fish fertilizer for the NPK value because it's not a very strong fertilizer. What it is is it is an excellent source of micronutrients. Remember that when it comes to using chemical soluble fertilizers, they only have the micronutrients in there that the chemical manufacturers thought to put in there. So if miracle Grow didn't put the put the nutrient in there, it's not in there. When you use an organic fertilizer, like the fish emulsion that you see right here, it has literally every compound under the sun because it's pureed whole food. So I like to mix the two together because I get every possible compound in nature from the fish fertilizer. So if you think that your miracle Grow type fertilizer is your, your energy, the fish fertilizer is like the multivitamin that you have along the meal. Now that we've discussed our soluble fertilizers, there are two other things I want to talk about. On the left, you'll see a bag of Epsom salt. Epsom salt is a natural source of magnesium. I like to add Epsom salt to my very first fertilizing, and I usually 
We'll add it one more time at fruiting to prevent any kind of magnesium deficiency. You don't need to add very much at all. The second thing is on the right you will see a basic 444 organic all-purpose fertilizer. As I mentioned before, your container trees lack a strong microbiome to quickly break down organic fertilizer, but there still is some amount of bacteria and fungi in the soil. It will break down slowly over time, so I like to add two tablespoons to all of my container trees every 14 days or so, just just to provide a constant stream of micronutrients to my plants. Now that we've discussed all the components, I'm going to show you how to apply them. In front of me, you'll see a five gallon paint bucket from Lowe's. This is what I'm going to use to mix all of my fertilizer and feed all of my trees. So I'm going to start off with the all-purpose fertilizer. And as I mentioned before, the box recommends one tablespoon per gallon. So I'm going to put five tablespoons of this into my five gallon bucket. And just remember, if these are new transplants, you probably want a half that strength. You only want to put maybe two and a half tablespoons in a five gallon bucket. Then we want to take our Alaska fish fertilizer and put a nice big healthy glug in there. Just pour it for about three seconds, coat the bottom. And then we want to put a rounded teaspoon of the Epsom salt in there. And I'm using this miracle Grow scooper which is 1.5 tablespoons. So you can see what that looks like there. That's about one and a half tablespoons. And then we're simply going to add water and fill it up to the top. Before we apply our soluble solution, we want to go ahead and we want to place the all-purpose granulated fertilizer down because you need to wet that fertilizer to begin the decaying process. So I'm going to take this miracle Grow scooper right here, which is 1.5 tablespoons, and I'm going to put two level scoopers in each bucket. So that'll equate to about three tablespoons total. And you can mix that around and scratch it in a little bit. That'll help the breakdown process. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that to every single one of my potted fig trees before I go ahead and apply the soluble feed. Now that I have the granulated fertilizer put down in all of my pots, I'm going to wet them all down with the soluble fertilizer. As I said before, the bucket on the right is a five gallon bucket, so there's five gallons of liquid in there. I'm going to give each tree approximately one gallon. So one of these buckets is going to feed five trees. So I just got finished fertilizing all of the trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on them every day or so and monitor them for green leafy growth. And in about 10 days, I'm going to follow up with a secondary high nitrogen fertilizing that mirrors exactly what I just did right now. And then come the middle of April, we will do a follow up video because it is at that point that we are going to change the way that we're fertilizing them. We are going to move away from a high nitrogen approach and to a more balanced approach because we are going to start encouraging the trees to do more than grow just leaves. We are going to want them to start getting ready about thinking about producing fruit as well. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future videos and more updates from my channel. If you're curious about anything that I used in this video or in my garden in general, all of the products I use are linked in my Amazon storefront link in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video.